actually just come from a party. The time is about 3.30 a.m. in the morning. And I thought, what better time than now to show you how I would refresh my makeup after a long day. So obviously I've been sweating, specifically at this party, which is why my makeup is a lot worse than it you know, should be genuinely. I'm gonna show you how I would do that. The first thing I'm going to do is sort out my hair because if my hair looked like this that would be the first step yeah? which is going to be hard because um there's hairspray in it <sighs> yeah the hairspray is just all crumbling out of my hair it's horrible i need to stop using the got to be spray it just flakes everywhere. It will get wavier, so I'm just gonna leave it, but that looks a lot more respectable. In terms of what I put in my handbag for refreshing my makeup, I think of the essentials, I always bring a compact powder. So I've been using the Gucci one in the shade 03. And then I have this little Fenty Beauty tin, which it used to have lip glosses in, but what I do is, oh, I'm glad it didn't drop on the floor. I get my foundation brush, my concealer brush, a powder brush, a sponge, and then the lip combo of the day. Oh, and I also have a mini eyelash glue, just in case. I'm gonna assess the damage and see what parts I don't like about my face. I can see that there is a lot of oil around my nose, a little bit of product is separating. I've got a bit of a dry skin up here, which I can't really help in terms of refreshing my makeup when I'm out. But there's things that we can do to help it. First thing I'm going to do is re-blend my under eyes. To be fair, I don't usually get creasing, but every now and then, you never know. So the way to deal with it would be to kind of Brush it away if it's crumbling and then blend over it again. Sometimes it just blends together. It depends on the concealer. It depends on how it mixes with your foundation. So at the moment, it's kind of crumbed off, but I've kind of put it back in place. And then I'm gonna go over that whole concealer area, especially over the sides of my nose. Going to do the same with the other eye, this side is a lot better, in fact there is no creasing on that side. Great. I always like to do the in-between of my eyebrows, for some reason this area likes to come off sometimes. I like to do the chin as well. Upper lip, I'm dusting away some of that dry skin that I have for some reason. And then I'm going to re-blend over the sides of my nose, which are quite oily at the moment. Next step would be to get your powder, which is a Gucci compact one in my case. And Get a powder brush so it's fluffy but it's fairly dense, a little bit directly under the eye. Press a little bit. And then I want to blend it all over the concealer. Everywhere I had the concealer, I will blend the excess. And add a little bit more for the size of my nose. I'm gonna go over my eyebrows because I don't have a spoolie or an eyebrow brush, but what I do have is this brush. So I'm gonna brush it up and it'll also help any excess oil in the concealer I've done. I'll check I'm happy with where I've put the powder. I'm gonna add a little bit more under my eye to add that 
let's do this. Get the foundation brush. You don't want to go over it too much because once the rest of the makeup is dried, if you use the foundation brush too much, you're going to wipe away product. So you just want to gently press over the joining of the concealer and the foundation or your contour. Gently. I go over my whole forehead, my whole chin, and my whole upper lip. But you don't want to touch that concealer too much, if that makes sense. This isn't something that I normally carry, but if you have space in your bag, please bring a setting spray because that will really help. What you want to do is obviously just spray it, not too much. So that was about three sprays. That will really hydrate your skin again. While that's drying, I'm going to go into my lip pencil. And I'm going to apply my lip glosses. Now that setting spray should be dry, so I'm just going to go in with a sponge now. I've got this beauty blender. I usually use it for powder, so it's got excess powder on it. I'm going to go over the under eye. And then I'm going to use the bottom to press over where any concealer and foundation or contour joins. And that's how I would kind of refresh my makeup. This is with the small kit that I bring with me. If you want me to do a video where I would show you how to refresh your makeup to its almost, you know, prior state, so like as if you just did it, I can do that. But this is how I would refresh my makeup with the things that I bring with me on a day-to-day -day basis if I have my makeup on. But yeah, um, that's how I would do my makeup. Um, how I'd refresh my makeup. It's very simple but it goes a long way and if you want to take pictures or it's just a warm day or you've been sweating it's really helpful. So I hope you enjoyed.